Hey everyone, how's it going? JD Strategic here. Happy Wednesday. I hope everyone's doing great today. Although if you guys saw the economic headlines today, the consumer price index came out at 9.1% today, highest since 1981. Um, a lot of people are referring to this as one of the greatest distributions of wealth in history. Um, but either way, whatever you want to call it, something, something significant is definitely playing out right now. Um, these numbers are pretty significant. Um, if you think about just taking home $100 in the last month, that's already worth $91. So let's say your paycheck's $60,000 per year and you get paid $5,000 a month. You can subtract $450 off that $5,000 just based off that 9.1% inflation rate. So you're losing purchasing power, whether you realize it or not. Um, all that money just sitting in your bank account slowly decreasing. Um, people's wealth is slowly going out the drain. And this consumer price, price index, it really refers to your purchasing power. It's a reflection of all the goods, um, the top goods that people are buying on kind of a daily basis. And it keeps track of this total to see how the prices are rising or decreasing. And on average, um, I think the number is 3.8% from the years 1960 to 20, 2021. So that's the average inflation rate that you can expect. And right now we're experiencing significant inflation at 9.1%. So this is a very significant number. And what's really important now more than ever, and this is really taught to us through the book, The Automatic Millionaire, you need to be paying yourself first when that paycheck comes. You know, if inflation's 9%, you're willing to give the government 9% or 9% can just disappear from your bank account, you should be willing to invest it, that same percentage into yourself. Otherwise, you're just watching your wealth kind of go out the drain. So it's now important more than ever to be investing in yourself and investing in that future. If you're just kind of trying to stack up your cash in your bank account, that number is slowly deteriorating. Um, and then we're really not sure what's going to play out next. You know, at some point, we're going to probably see rates either go up or go down. Um, but most people are anticipating rates to go up. So we can probably anticipate some more fluctuations. And like I said in, in an earlier video, that advanced estimate on the GDP amount is going to come out July 27th or July 28th, actually, at 8.30 a.m. So that's when we're going to find out officially if we're in a recession if we've had two straight quarters of negative GDP growth. So we can definitely expect a lot of stuff, stock fluctuations right here. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how things play out. Um, the, currently the S&P 500 is trading at about 3,800. My prediction from a few months ago is that we're gonna see it go down as low as 3,400. So I still anticipate a good drop off. I think we still haven't seen the worst yet. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how things play out. That's just kind of my overall thoughts on the market. I really do think when that num when that second quarter GDP amount comes out, um, the, the market's going to react in some way, shape or form. Um, everyone's been predicting recession and oftentimes throughout history when everyone's shouting recession, it oftentimes means we're not going to be in a recession. So it just shows no one really knows how to predict the market, but it, it's important to kind of just stick to those long term investing goals. And in times like these, where everything's trading at such a discount, rather than being super scared and kind of afraid, this is where that psychology really kicks in and you really see these things trading at a discount and it's really exciting where, um, so you have like that long-term investment plan, but you can use an opportunity like this to invest even a little bit higher percentage than you usually do, just because everything's trading at so, so much cheaper than it used to be. Um, and this is probably what people would call soft landing because we've experienced so much growth over the last two or three years um, in everything, the stock market, housing, cars. So now it's kind of time for things to kind of correct a little bit. So it's not a time to overreact to the market, but rather get excited. Um, so that's everything I wanted to talk about today. Um, I just want to make a quick video on the market update, giving that 9.1% consumer price index number that just came out. So it'll be interesting to see how the market plays out over the next couple months. Thanks everyone for tuning in.